Welcome to Electro Online, and the last thing we want to look at with resonance frequency is how that affects the current in the circuit. Remember that the current in the circuit is equal to the voltage of the, of the power supply divided by the total impedance of the circuit. And remember in the previous video we saw that the impedance becomes the minimum at the resonance frequency because at the resonance frequency the impedance is equal to the resistance since at that point the inductive reactance will be equal to the capacitor reactance and they will cancel each other out because we add the resistance and the reactances as vectors. It's a vector addition, they cancel each other out, and the impedance then will become equal to the resistance. So that's when the opposition to the current will be the lowest, which means at that point we'll have the highest current in the circuit. Notice here when the impedance becomes almost infinitely high, the current will be almost zero. We reach a maximum value when the frequency each reaches a resonance frequency, and as the impedance increases, the current begins to decrease again. And so the the current on this graph should look like this. Like this, it will reach a maximum value, and then the current will begin to decrease, and go like this. So this would be the current as a function of the frequency. At high frequencies, we have low current. At low frequencies, we have low current. And we have the maximum current or high current when we reach resonance frequency. And this property of, of our cell circuits does lend itself to all kinds of uses. Matter of fact, the tuning, the way we tune to radio stations, is used by finding the maximum current allowed when we set the, the inductor reactance equal to the capacitor reactance, and that's how we tune into radio stations or television stations, at least back in the old days, when we're still doing this via analog signals. And so there's a lot of application in this kind of principle, but all that we need to realize here is that maximum current is reached when Z becomes equal to R. So this then becomes I max, or high, high, the highest current is equal to the voltage by the supply divided by the resistance, because that's when V becomes equal to R. And that's when we reach our highest current in the circuit. And that's the key to take back from this particular concept, when, when we reach resonance frequency, we reach maximum current in the circuit. And that's how we do that.